the first thing waking up early i used to be a really early person like i would wake up at five and that's my goal i'm trying to get to 5 a.m recently i have been consistent with waking up at 7 a.m i used to wake up at 8 9 which you might not think is late but to me it is a lot of people don't wake up that early when you wake up early before the sun comes up you literally feel a vibe like this calmness this peace not so much commotion going on you feel your mind at peace and so clear like you feel the vibes i don't know how else to explain it but you feel it i know i feel it and i love waking up early because i love going with the day i like waking up before the sun comes up when the sun comes up i'm already doing stuff like i've already started my day instead of starting the day when the sun is already up because you just feel some type of way i know i would feel sluggish like oh there goes half my day already not even but i would feel like that it would make me feel bad so i took accountability and i took action and i said well i don't feel good when i wake up at eight nine it makes me feel some type of way i feel bad about myself and i don't get as much done because i'm like eh you know like you just you feel lazy it's just the vibe you feel it where you just don't want to do anything it makes you feel more lazier to be honest when you wake up later on in the day i was like you know what fuck it i'm waking up at seven dude those two hours that one hour makes me feel so much better and i get so much more done but you do go to sleep a little bit earlier as well my bedtime the latest is like 10 11 i'm working my way towards 9 so i could wake up at 5 because that routine just works for me i know it makes me feel better you gotta work your way towards it and make sure you're actually getting rest stop going to sleep hella late watching netflix being on your phone start sleeping early and you'll wake up earlier you might go to sleep late and you still might wake up early but you didn't get enough rest you barely slept anything yeah you wake up early but you're with you're not rested you know your body just doesn't it's not the vibe's not there the energy is not there you know what works creating a healthy night routine instead of watching netflix instead of scrolling on your phone on tiktok read something journal meditate do your skincare try to get off your screen off of any screen two hours one hour before your bedtime so that way you're not like going to sleep with your tv on with your phone right next to you you have this positive routine before going to bed do a nightly prayer you know just do something positive it's kind of like preparing for the morning for the next day to be honest if anything write things down if you have any ideas or anything that you don't want to forget the next day write that down going on to the next thing that will help you a lot with becoming productive is writing things down writing down your schedule getting a fucking planner dude I got my planner a week ago and I started planning. When you write things down, anything, goals, your schedule, it's going to get done. That means it's going to get done. You know, that's like the first step. It's kind of already done, to be honest, because it just makes you feel more like, fuck, I need to actually do this. If I wrote it down, it needs to get done. And a planner doesn't only help with getting things done, but it helps with organization. Your life being organized, your mind being organized. Because instead of just keeping in mind, I have to do this next, I have to do this. Thinking about the 10 things you have to get done. You overwhelming yourself, feeling anxious. Thinking it's like 100 things you literally have to do when it's only like five and you're not clear you're not clear about what you have to do it's chaotic in your mind write it down it's going to make you feel so much relaxed and it's going to help you focus on each task without worrying about what do i have to do next what needs to get done what's my day going to look like you have it all planned out you write it down and you focus on one thing you finish that task cross it out on to the next and you just do that with every single one at first you might not get all your things done for i don't know what reason pay attention to that you didn't get something done why maybe you took a little bit longer on a certain task which didn't allow you to move on to the next okay that's fine don't beat yourself up for it don't be mean to yourself don't be harsh be kind did you maybe go out did you help out somebody else did you hang out with your friends were you just on your phone was that the reason you didn't go on to the next task maybe don't be harsh on yourself either 
but be accountable and it will make you feel some type of way i know it made me feel like fuck i didn't get to this and i would feel bad about myself like i didn't choose me i chose if i hung out with somebody else i chose this person over me now i would feel bad feel it okay you feel bad all right but now you know for next time you have to choose yourself you have to choose you first you have to get your things done get all your things done before you go out before you hang out with friends if you want to go on your phone before you go on your phone get everything done that way you don't feel bad about yourself because you don't want to feel like that every single time learn from that be accountable and that's how you build discipline that's growth when you learn from something when you learn the lesson you don't want to repeat it you don't want to keep choosing other people over you over your things over your tasks no you want a better tomorrow then plan it that's like manifesting it you see the vision for tomorrow you see it you write it down it's gonna get done dude that's how it's going to be i see it as manifestation you know when you write things down that's manifesting when you say things that's manifesting do better today for a better tomorrow eating healthy my peeps is such an important one i would say is the most important one because it's what you're consuming what's going inside your body and what you consume what goes inside your body has a lot to do with everything eating junk food will have you feeling like junk it will have you not wanting to do anything it's low vibrating foods what do you want to do when you're eating chips candy ice cream fast food you don't want to do anything you just want to chill chill in netflix and chill you don't feel like doing anything productive you don't feel like reading you don't feel like going out for a walk you don't feel like meditating because it brings you to this lower frequency it'll have you looking like junk too with the acne and that's one thing that people always complain about i'm a makeup artist so i do makeup on other people people are always complaining about their skin and they ask me what do I do to keep my skin looking so popping? <laughs> you know, they ask me, what do I recommend? What products do I recommend? What should they do? And the first thing I ask is, what do you eat? And I'm hearing all the junk foods, the fast foods. And I'm like, okay, well, that's the problem. That is the main problem. All that junk got your skin looking like junk. Yeah, skincare helps a lot as well i recommend using more natural products instead of all these products filled with chemicals that you probably don't even know what the fuck they are you can't even fucking pronounce them because then that doesn't really help you know and and even just the products don't help you get to the root cause the root cause is what you are eating 90 percent of the time 80 maybe sometimes i'm eating healthy i drink my juices i eat my fruits I eat my veggies. People don't seem to believe that. And you probably are not believing it either. But what you eat has a lot to do with your appearance. With your skin. <laughs> like, I'm drinking my orange juice right now. Fruits, your veggies, drinking your juices. That's the way to go. That will help you get clear skin. And your skin isn't always going to be nice and smooth and clear. We all have pores. We get a pimple here and there. I'm not saying I eat perfect all the time. Sometimes I have chocolate, you know. I like sweet stuff. I have a chocolate here and there. I sometimes have dairy. My skin doesn't like it, which that's why I don't have it all the time. But, you know, sometimes I have it. I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not telling you to stop eating all these foods forever that I eat the most healthiest. No, but it's about just eating healthier. Being aware of what certain foods do to you, what it does to your body, what it does to your skin, how it makes you feel, most importantly. The fruits help me feel good. The veggies help me feel good. They don't make me feel bloated. They give me that real energy. 